assuming responsibility for the potential costs associated with postponing the installation of riprap, the recommendation is to not execute the release and indemnity. Great, ladies and gentlemen. I understand, uh, Mr. LeBlanc, you have a presentation that you wish to make. Mr. LeBlanc? Yes. You have a presentation? Yes. Please feel free to come forward. Okay. My, my appearing before or after the staff? Are you appearing before or after staff? Is that what you asked? Yes. I don't know if there is a staff presentation. I don't, we don't have a staff presentation. That's so all you... Oh. Okay. Uh, you have my PowerPoint? Yes. Yes, I just have to... I don't have it on my screen. Sorry. Oh, I do. There it is. Never mind. I say that. I, I would uh, at this time, I guess, just to... Uh, uh, make some clarification. I would like to know from from yourself, uh, Mr. Mayor, and from uh, the city manager's office and from the clerk's office, if you have received anything from the province, any word from the province today as to their change of heart on any issue pertaining to this matter before us. No, I have not. I'm not sure if anyone else has. I have no. not received anything no. with regard to change of heart. Sorry. Nor has any of the councillors, despite our requests. I would, uh, I, I, I've read uh, in its entirety and printed the uh, presentation of uh, Monsieur Leblanc, Daniel, and I've reviewed the AMEC report. Councilor Woodrow, we were going to have a presentation for Mr. We can have a presentation or I can move the recommendation, move a motion at this time. I was going to hear from Mr. LeBlanc first. Okay. Okay, I'll come Sorry, right back. We're here. just uh, pulling, we just received the presentation this afternoon, so. Right. Okay. Maire, les conseillers et le public. Euh, donc aujourd'hui, on, on a été appelé d'urgence vendredi euh, en fin d'après-midi à la veille du congé de, de la fête du Canada pour une réunion extraordinaire aujourd'hui. Euh, on regrette le fait que la réunion n'est pas enregistrée euh, et pour euh, la, la possibilité à la communauté de la regarder euh, plus tard. Donc, euh, Euh, on a demandé euh, euh, à un service de venir enregistrer la réunion. So, I'm not sure why the meeting is not being televised or recorded. This is highly uh, uh, unusual. And so we have asked uh, an outside uh, service to come and, and record and uh, take, take notes of the meeting. So, uh, my presentation is very short. It's about 15 minutes. Uh, as you know, we had uh, very little time to prepare. Uh, because of the holiday weekend and uh, we have also been in touch with four uh, lawyers who uh, have in the past offered uh, advice to River Keeper. Unfortunately, uh, on short notice, they, they could not uh, uh, be present here today, but I have uh, their advice and happy to share it with uh, Council. Um, alors, pour la présentation, je pense que j'appuie ici. Aujourd'hui, la présentation va durer à peu près 15 minutes et je veux parler, euh, faire un retour sur la résolution du 19 juin. Euh, on va parler de l'entente d'indemnité et quelques recommandations. Um, so, as we remember the... Uh, the uh, resolution voted uh, last week after, uh, in fact, it was almost two weeks ago now, after over a month of deliberation on the subject, uh, the City Council voted unanimously to uh, uh, protect its uh, riverfront at Boar Park and uh, it, with the view to uh, allowing people in the community to enjoy this resource. I think we understand now what the riverfront is. 
uh, with its historic wharves and the popular attraction of the tidal bore. Um, you've all seen this historic photo, but I forgot to mention the last time we are worried about some uh, steel posts that are in the ground, but in the past they used to uh, uh, use uh, wooden posts driven by hand to uh, hold ships which have uh, many tons uh, to it. And uh, so I just want to say that the hard clay banks are hard clay, not silt, and they are have always been used uh, uh, to so that to hold uh, the infrastructure in place. Uh, we also discussed a few weeks ago how important uh, the investments were uh, made in the 1990s to uh, create a uh, an exceptional boardwalk in Moncton. I have to say this is the uh, only place in the Maritimes that we do have such a development with the tidal bore attraction. Uh, we're also very pleased to see re-emerge on the waterfront the remnants of the historic wharf, the central wharf, and uh, we'll be talking about the archaeological significance of that and the legal implications. And um, the city as, as well on June 19th uh, wanted uh, the city to reaffirm its intention to create river accesses and I'm very happy that I have had chance to talk to uh, staff Rod Higgins and I believe he's uh, arranging uh, some sort of uh, follow-up on that and uh, we will be happy to participate uh, with the city on that process. Oh, pardon. Um, uh, les uh, infrastructures uh, de navigation ont été uh, perturbées en 2011. Alors, on sait qu'il y a un, un problème à régler tout près du quai de Moncton et ça faisait partie de l'intention du Conseil il y a deux semaines de rectifier le problème. Uh, rappel de, des accès qui existaient avant uh, 2011 et du problème qui existe aujourd'hui. Évidemment, la ville, euh, le Conseil a voté pour la résolution en tenant compte des meilleurs intérêts des commerçants et de la communauté, que ce soit les gens qui vont regarder le mascaret ou les gens qui euh, euh, font des visites. Alors, vous savez qu'il y a eu des grands mascarets la semaine dernière. Plusieurs milliers de personnes ont eu la chance d'y aller. Ici, une photo d'un un mariage et les gens qui étaient présents sur la rivière, donc c'est un endroit qui va gagner en popularité, euh, j'imagine, dans les prochaines années. Consultation, on a parlé aux propriétaires, euh, hôteliers, euh, il y a eu beaucoup de réactions publiques, comme vous le savez, même depuis la fin de semaine, depuis qu'on a pris euh, la nouvelle que l'enrochement le, pouvait revenir si la décision du Conseil n'était pas euh, affirmative aujourd'hui. So, I just want to say there's tremendous uh, reaction in the public, even though not many are aware of today's meeting. Uh, there's tremendous anxiety about the uh, possibility of rocks going to the riverfront after so much work. So, uh, you're welcome to, uh, to visit some of the social media where all these comments are posted. So, this is the uh, final resolution with the, uh, to discontinue the rock fill. I, I don't understand that this has changed, so we hear now that staff are, have recommended a motion which could uh, create the return of the rock fill. Uh, the motion was also to negotiate a cash settlement. I understand that is not uh, yet uh, done, so you don't have the news, but I don't believe the resolution was have that cash settlement in a week, and otherwise uh, let's abandon. I think there's, a, uh, there's an unlimited time frame on this. If it takes another month, another year, takes a change of government, then I believe it's the city's responsibility to continue working on that cash settlement. And the uh, mandate was also to negotiate an indemnity agreement 
and that's what we're here to discuss today. Um, of course, uh, this is a repeat of the same uh, intention in the motion that the city continue <coughs> negotiating for the uh, platforms uh, to be secured through a, a cash settlement of some sort. Um, as I mentioned, we had, uh, with such a short notice, no, not the ability of, of retaining legal expertise. We did talk to four lawyers over the uh, weekend and today. Um, everyone that we uh, spoke to uh, told us that this looks like a very standard indemnity agreement. I'm not sure if your staff have uh, commented on that. So no one seems to understand how unusual this indemnity agreement is, whether it is fair for the city to sign it, that's another matter. Uh, but it, it doesn't uh, seem to be any surprise in the fact that because the province is no longer going to put the rock that the city has uh, taking that responsibility and, uh, and that the city needs to come to an agreement with the province. So that is the matter here today. Uh, the, st the risk, we've discussed the risk abundantly in the last month uh, about what can happen in the future, what will happen, and what are the unknowns. We've also talked about the intention of uh, the community or the wish of the community to have a beautiful waterfront, which means probably the restoration of the old wharf. We don't know how much that will cost, and but I believe that your staff are now beginning to look into that. So, of course, we don't have all the answers today, but I believe the intention is to work within the next few months, within the next year, to have that whole picture together. And from our recollection of the meeting on the June 19, uh, the staff had made a calculated uh, risk decision to say, yes, we don't have all the information, but we certainly do not want the riprap there. Um, and the staff did want to protect the uh, agreement. I have to say that uh, on the heritage, we have uh, uh, are very surprised that uh, the province would be going ahead and burying such infrastructure, uh, knowing what we know. Uh, we were, the advice that we have is this is not legal. So, again, this is the section. The good news is that uh, the province has also confirmed that it, the liability or the indemnity is for the 300 meter section that we all uh, know about. We have reviewed this. Um, we know there's an old rail bed. Uh, we know there is a hard clay bank somewhere there. And we know there is an old wharf there. I believe that's all that we know. Uh, we also know that in the past, the city has been able to restore or renovate uh, another public wharf. Uh, I don't know what the price tag was with that, but they, they did a remarkable job. Alors, euh, il faut quand même féliciter le travail qui a été fait dans le passé et savoir que c'est un, une tâche qui est possible de restaurer un ancien quai pour permettre à, au public de voir le mascaret. Alors, on connaît également l'impact de l'enrochement. On en avait discuté la dernière réunion. Et euh, ces impacts-là sont la perte de, de l'accès à la rivière, la destruction des ressources archéologiques, l'impact sur le mascaret et il y a un doute sur la légalité de l'action. Vous avez également eu euh, accès à un rapport d'ingénierie maritime qui vous a donner des assurances sur les risques euh, et un rappel des recommandations. Certainement, il y a, la recommandation n'était pas de mettre l'enrochement euh, et de plutôt se concentrer <coughs> sur la structure et de la renforcer. Donc, C'est un peu du déjà vu, on est en train de revoir la même question, on a l'impression aujourd'hui. Donc la, la question aujourd'hui, c'est la façon qu'on a compris 
bien qu'on n'a pas eu beaucoup de temps d'en de, 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 comprendre, c'est euh, soit que la, la Ville signe aujourd'hui l'entente d'indemnité où la province demande le contrat d'enrochement. Nous, on n'est pas dans, vos, euh, dans votre situation, mais on avait compris le 19 juin que c'était l'intention du conseil de demander à son personnel, de, si oui, si nécessaire, de signer l'entente d'indemnité. So, we are not uh, in your situation, but we had understood from the June 19 meeting that the council had directed staff to negotiate and sign an indemnity agreement. So, it is surprising to us today to find that staff do not recommend this. Uh, certainly also understood clearly that the city should discontinue the rock fill and that we should all be and no, no longer worrying about that and it's very uh, uh, disconcerting that a lot of us have had to worry about this rock fill again over the last few days during our holidays so uh, I think this has to stop once and for all. This. Uh, this threat which uh, keeps reoccurring. I hope today is the last day we ever uh, come to the council to talk about this. Uh, the cash settlement, uh, we understand you don't have a, a settlement today, but we, we just expect the city to continue working on this. As I said before, if it takes a year, then it'll take the time that it takes. And we also expect the, res the navigation access to be restored. So I believe uh, the recommendations we have are the same that we, we uh, have been communicating to Council all over in the last six weeks, with the exception that uh, if the Council feels like it can sign the, the uh, indemnity agreement, it should sign it today. C'est bien. Merci beaucoup. Merci, uh, Monsieur Leblanc. Thank you. Councillor Boudreau. I would move at this time, Your Worship, that the clerk and the mayor be authorized to sign and execute the release and indemnity agreement that was forwarded to the city by the province. I will second the motion, Your Worship. Merci, M. le maire. J'avais juste une question, puis je la, je la pose à Daniel, mais je la pose au personnel aussi. Qu'est-ce qui arriverait si on demandait à la province d'attendre un an et qu'on laisserait l'érosion se produire pendant un an? Euh, ça nous donnerait notre, le temps à la ville d'établir son comité, qu'on a prévu la dernière fois. Ça donnerait le temps de voir qu'est-ce que l'érosion et les autres conséquences potentielles. Ça nous donnerait le temps de rencontrer la province pour explorer plus en détail, est-ce qu'il y a un immense danger d'attendre une année afin qu'on puisse ramasser plus d'informations qu'on a aujourd'hui un petit peu pressé? Là. Je ne sais pas à qui euh, poser la question d'abord, vous prendrez pour chacun votre tour, mais j'aimerais d'avoir les deux perspectives. Je ne suis pas qualifié pour répondre à cette question, uh, Your Worship. I mean, uh, the risk from a, I suppose from the legal side is that, uh, well, I, I really don't know how to answer that question, Your Worship. I, I, uh, we know what we don't have today. If we don't sign the indemnity agreement, we don't have the financial contribution of the province. In time, might that change? It's only speculation. I don't know. Okay. Um, I think you should just continue uh, negotiating. Alors, moi, il faut continuer de négocier jusqu'à temps que vous ayez la l'entente euh, financière. Je, je, je ne vois pas pourquoi la province devrait vous refuser l'entente euh, sur ce sujet. Ils sont prêts à dépenser 430 000 dollars cette semaine. Mais pour l'entente, j'ai écouté, moi je ne suis pas un avocat, la seule chose que vous rapportez, c'est que les conseils qu'on a eus, c'est une entente standard. Et je ne sais pas si votre personnel a réagi sur ce fait-là, c'est peut-être important de, de le savoir, mais... 
je n'ai pas de problème à, à considérer l'information qu'on a aujourd'hui. Parce que tout ce site, c'est un petit peu de la devinette de qu ce que le futur va nous apporter. God forbid qu'on ait un autre Saxby Gill, Stoughton, mais, mais même si on l'avait, quelles seraient les conséquences sur le reprap qu'on a déjà placé, le reprap qu'on voudrait empêcher de placer, il n'y a personne qui peut me répondre à cette question-là. Il y a plein de questions qui me, qui me viennent à la tête, puis je oui. me dis, OK, si c'est juste le 300 mètres, parfait, mais est-ce qu'il y aurait un, 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 un actuarial accountant de la Fredericton? Si Sachs Bigel s'en venait, euh, détruisait la moitié de le, de, des deux côtés de la rivière, même le, le, la chaussée, etc., etc., il y aurait été un comptable à Fredericton qui dirait « Ah, ok, ben, on, il y a eu des, énormément de dommages, là, on va calculer les dommages, mais on va calculer un pourcentage de moins pour le 300 mètres que la ville nous a dit qui était indemnisé. » Je ne peux pas m'imaginer que c est, c est, c est des choses comme ça se produiraient. Ça fait quel serait le tort de dire à la province « Est-ce est qu'on peut attendre pour un an, placer pas de roche, on va faire une analyse plus détaillée, puis dans un an, on va négocier le, si jamais on mettait l'argent dans le trust en quelque part, que si jamais il fallait mettre du reprap ou, ou d'autres protections, euh, une fois que l'érosion soit rendue euh, à jusqu'à le, le sentier maintenant. Là. Ben, écoutez, pour le sexe, Bigger, c'est l'élévation. Hein? Donc, c'est les dommages sont à, à la marée haute. Euh, c'est pas. Euh, je pense que c'est des genres de choses comme ça qui inquiètent euh, les gens. Ça, la roche ne va rien faire pour la hauteur, donc euh, ça, ça, selon moi, ça vient à voir avec euh, le, la question aujourd'hui. Ok, merci, merci M. Ben. Councilor, anyone else? Thank you, <coughs> thank you, Your Worship. Well, to me, this would be very simple if the province had of agreed to give us the four hundred and thirty thousand dollars. As I mentioned on the nineteenth, I thought that was very important and. Uh, and I don't understand why they're not at the table. First of all, I'd like to say the position the city finds itself in today, in my opinion, is only because of the reckless nature Minister Williams, Blay, Stoltz, and MLA bets have handled this file. City Council only received the indemnity agreement late Friday afternoon, and these MLAs only are giving Council until midnight tonight, today, to sign or else, and I find this action uh, regrettable. I've done some due diligence in the short period of time I've had this file uh, over the long uh, weekend. And just a few short questions. If the city signs the indemnity agreement, could the city be responsible for defending the province in the event of claims by third parties? And if so, what could that entail as to liability? The short answer to that, uh, Your Worship, is yes. Find its position, it's itself in a position where it had to defend third party claims. Uh, again, pure speculation in terms of what that might entail in, in uh, cost wise. Uh, it might depend on the nature of the claim, the nature of the damage alleged, uh, the reasonableness of the claim, claim being made, how long it would take to litigate it, the legal costs involved. It's, there's, there's no way of, of providing you a number that could be reasonably expected to be close. Uh, but it, it could be substantial. If the city signs the indemnity agreement, are there any potential risks with their insurance coverage, and if so, what? The discussions with our insurer uh, reveal that there is not a risk of loss of coverage. Uh, I think the uh, what we've discovered in discussions with them is uh, the more likely risk is an escalation in premiums should claims be made. Trying to figure out why the provincial government is moving so quickly on this file. On this 300 meter section of a riverfront, we know there were wharves built and their remains exist, and perhaps other artifacts could be there, like shipwrecks that could be exposed due to erosion. Could part of the reason the province wants to riprap this section be if tidal action reveals a structure of historical significance under the Heritage Conservation Act, they would be financially responsible? and they want to hide these historical artifacts with riprap? I'd have to treat that question as rhetorical here, Your Worship, I can't speculate. We know the province has led a tender for placing riprap in front of Poor Park. 
that the city signed the indemnity agreement and the province does not award their contract, is there any possibility the low bidder could sue the city for lost profits on this project? Um, that question, Your Worship, you might want to recess to a private session. No need. If the city does not sign the indemnity agreement, could the city or third party sue the province for not doing any due diligence to see if there are any structures of historical significance or artifacts of historical significance in the 300 meter section they are going to rip I haven't done the research on that question, Your Worship, to give an answer. I do want to thank Minister Fitch for his interest on this file. It's good to know someone in Fredericton is looking out for Moncton taxpayers. The council meeting today was put together on very short notice as council received the indemnity agreement from the provincial government late Friday afternoon and had given the city until midnight to sign. So I agree with Minister Fitch, a longer lead time would have been beneficial, but it was Minister Claude Williams that set the timeline. The city was unanimous in our motion to save our riverfront from the provincial government's decision to place riprap there, and I can only speak for myself, I cannot understand why they would not give the city the $430,000 they are prepared to spend later this week to place dump truck after dump truck of riprap on the riverfront. In my opinion, this $430,000 will be needed to shore up the riverfront at some time in the future on this 300 meter section and perhaps we will need to spend more than that but in my opinion that would be money well spent to keep this section of our riverfront and historic components of our past preserved. So my question would be to Minister Blay, Stalt, MLA Betts, please tell us why they won't give the city the $430,000 they are prepared to spend on riprap and it should be noted all of these members have been asked to attend this meeting today and none of them have been interested enough to show up to answer our questions. So, Your Worship, I think the province, these three MLAs have put the city in a very difficult position and quite honestly I'm not sure where we should be going. Uh, we have received a legal opinion from our city that I take very seriously. To me, it would have been very easy to move on this if the, if the province had given us the $430,000 without question. I would, I would vote to sign, but I'd like to hear from some of my colleagues and uh, I'll you serve my decision. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. <clears throat> Anyone else? Any other questions or comments? Councillor Pedro? Well, just uh, <clears throat> one comment. The after a review of the file, the, it seems that if there was a flood downtown, if the river rose 12 feet or whatever, for whatever reason, the hurricane goes up the Fundy, Bay of Fundy uh, three years from now, the river is going to rise at the same level all along the river. It's going to rise at the same level where the riffraff is. It's going to rise at the same level where there's no riffraff. So I can't see that we're at risk. Uh, uh, everything uh, there, the the water isn't just going to go up where the 300 meters is. It's going to rise everywhere, and 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 flood everything. <coughs> Uh, it'll be an act of God at that point in time and people will be covered or not covered by their insurance, by the terms of their insurance policy. The, uh, the lands immediately affected uh, by erosion that would affect the clay bed where there was in fact a railway track over it. Uh, and where I believe, and the river keepers believe, and the engineer hired by the river keepers believe, where the erosion will stop at the clay bank, uh, the lands past that belong to the city in any event. So there are no third parties that would truly be affected by a uh, by this, I see very little risk uh, in proceeding to sign the agreement. I see extreme risk in not signing it by midnight this evening. 
I would hope that the province of New Brunswick government moves as quickly in its negotiations with the federal government to arrive at a cost-sharing formula with respect to replacing the causeway with the uh, bridge that is contemplated in the reports commissioned and, and upon which the province is acting. If they moved as quickly on that issue as they did on trying to uh, go against the city's wishes, perhaps uh, we could get some action on that front. Uh, I would invite the members of the press here, uh, Monsieur Genuet is, is uh, experienced at this, uh, to ask to make a, a formal application under the Right to Information Act for all documentation and letters exchanged between the province and the federal government since the election of the Allward government concerning cost sharing of the, <coughs> the replacement of the causeway with the bridge. <clears throat> something tells me that you'll find very little. And this is an issue that must be addressed uh, by this government uh, as soon as possible. It's the last key measure to be undertaken. Uh, the riffraff has been placed where it should be placed. There is nothing in the agreements that mentioned in the reports by the uh, province that indicate that there had to be riffraff beef in front of the Boar Park. They mentioned specifically that there had to be riffraff placed on the south side, Riverview side, uh, from a point to another point, and on our side of the river uh, at the dump and some other areas, but not, not where we don't want it, which is a reason, another reason why uh, the province should look favorably upon our request to uh, provide us with some compensation uh, even if they don't give us the, the money, uh, they could at least undertake t to uh, pay for the uh, strengthening of the platforms if and when required. So in two years from now, if, once we've seen where the, er, uh, not the erosion, I won't call it the erosion, it's the removal of the silt that has built up since the causeway. All we want is for the shoreline at Boar Park to return to where it was originally, which is in my estimation and the estimation of many, many others, including probably one of the most experienced engineers with respect to rivers uh, and oceans and so forth in Atlantic Canada for sure, if not in Canada. The uh, Mr. O'Hallahan who wrote the report for the river keepers, uh, his curriculum vitae speaks for itself. So with that, uh, I'll let the others speak before making a motion, or if somebody else wants to make a motion, that's fine. You already made a motion, Councillor. There's a motion on the floor. Yes, I can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. My motion remains. Right. Thank you, Councillor Arnold. Merci, Monsieur le Maire. Oh, this is this is a really tough situation. I agree with everyone who's spoken. I agree with Councillor Hicks. I think had the province, you know, put some money in reserve for. Um, 
building up the infrastructure if something was to happen to it. This would make this a much easier situation. I agree with Councillor Boudreau. I, I'm <coughs> concerned for, for the future of, of the river if the riff raff, rip rap goes down. And I'm concerned for the safety of citizens who might be out there in front of those bulldozers. Um, I really liked Councillor Bourgeois' comment, you know, what if we had another year? I mean, that would be ideal if we could, could you know, have some time to, to think through, see what happens. Rather, I, I also don't understand this extreme rush on this, and I don't understand that. I wish I, wish I had some idea why this is being forced through so quickly. I, I don't understand that. And, and I'm very disappointed to not see any provincial representation here today because I feel that this is yet another case of our provincial government not standing up for the citizens of Moncton and putting all of the responsibility on Moncton City Council yet again. And I just don't think that's fair. That's not what democracy is about. And I find that our province, if, I mean, we don't even have a million people living here and it's in a mess and if we don't work together there's going to be there's there's no future for this province so i'm i'm very upset about this and um i still i'm wondering if in the ensuing time if anyone from staff has had a better answer as far as as the heritage of the i mean councillor um, hicks asked the question uh how is it that it's okay to cover up heritage but it's not okay to let it erode. I just don't understand that. I still haven't got a very good answer on that. I'm wondering, does anyone have any light to shed on that? Anyone? There seem to be a lot of questions still out there for us to have to make a decision on something like this. A lot of unanswered questions, so. I, I, don't, I, I don't have anything else to say, thank you. Merci, Monsieur le maire. En fait, je partage un peu les, les sentiments de ma collègue, conseillère Arnold. Um, mais j'essaie de voir le, le bon dans tout ceci. Je, je pense que faut essayer de trouver du positif parce que la rivière Petit-Codillac, ce n'est pas d'hier qu'on en, qu en parle. Je pense que la ville de Moncton... Euh, en, en quelque part, il y a quelque chose qui n'a pas fonctionné ici non plus. Donc, euh, je pense que les meilleurs coulent pas, là, il y en a plusieurs qui peuvent, qui peuvent euh, se regarder là-dessus. Donc, euh, peut-être que tout ce débat autour de, de, de ces 300, euh, 300 pieds ou 300 mètres, euh, Daniel, euh, c'est peut-être pas nécessairement négatif, dans le sens que ça va nous, nous forcer peut-être la ville. On a une motion, je ne sais pas, Monsieur le maire, si on va voter sur cette motion aujourd'hui, mais il y a une motion pour mettre ensemble un ad hoc comité um, whose mandate will be to um, uh, produce a report uh, and establish um, the future vision of the city the future vision of the Pedicodiac River for the city. So um, that's a good thing. I don't think we've ever done that in the past. So if we can um, begin to, to do these types of actions, I think it will be good. Um, and, and I like the idea of heritage preservation. I think that, um, and, and two years ago, uh, Monsieur Jaillet had called me and, and had suggested that we do some archaeology, je peux pas le dire en, 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 en anglais, the, uh, the archaeological digs, vous savez ce que je veux dire? Donc, euh, euh, et justement parce que près du, du, euh, du Boar Park, il y a, y a des vestiges de, 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 des Premières Nations, des Acadiens, d'ailleurs il y avait une chapelle, je pense, qui existait euh, euh, il y a aussi les Allemands qui sont arrivés, donc euh, on avait proposé la possibilité d'un projet avec euh, l'Université de Moncton, peut-être avec d'autres universités même, et euh, regarder, 
visite d'embauche d'étudiants pendant l'été, avoir un site archéologique qui serait très actif et qui pourrait aussi raconter l'histoire de, de notre ville. Donc, euh, euh, donc, je pense que de ce côté-là, moi, je, je suis comme mon collègue Henderson, qui est toujours le verre est à moitié plein, donc euh, je partage ça. Et j'espère que on va voir, euh, peut-être avec le comité qui sera mis en place, euh, des choses positives pour l'avenir et une vision euh, avec euh, toute l'histoire du patrimoine et tout, et euh, une vision vraiment pour la ville de Moncton, parce que jusqu'à maintenant, je peux vous dire, ça fait cinq ans que je suis ici et on n'a pas de vision pour la rivière petit -Codillac. Donc. Euh, c'est tout. Merci, M. le maire. Thank you. Anyone else? D'autres questions ou commentaires? Uh, okay, I just have a few comments. Uh, first of all, in terms of the indemnity agreement, uh, I've certainly seen indemnity agreements uh, before in my, my, other, my for, other former life. And um, uh, I don't know whether this one is unusual or not. I, But, I, you know, the nature of an indemnity agreement is pretty simple. In this case, the province of New Brunswick would have been on the hook, as I understand it, for or responsible for any damage to infrastructure as a result of uh, anything that may have happened from the opening of the gates or building a bridge and so on. And, uh, and since we've asked them uh, by motion not to put in the riprap here, they are saying, fine, uh, but you'll be responsible if there's any issues. That's the nature of a, an indemnity agreement. Uh, so it, 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 uh, that means that we take over that responsibility for this 300 uh, meters. The, um, the I, I mentioned previously that I do have some concerns about our tourism infrastructure, and I thank Mr. LeBlanc for, for uh, pointing out the importance of, of the tourism infrastructure that we have along the river now and how people do have the opportunity to see the river in action from the uh, lookout under Boar Park. And, And uh, one of the parts of the resolution that council passed uh, in June indicated that we should be doing some work on the uh, on the uh, uh, posts, for lack of a better word, of, of that uh, lookout. That's something I think we need to have a, a look at uh, carefully. Uh, I'm certainly for restoration of the uh, river. Uh, I do think, as has been pointed out in the resolution, that we we have to be careful with the tourism infrastructure that we have there. Um, I think it's important that Council enter this clear-eyed and knowing what the financial uh, ramifications are as much as we can know them today. Um, <clears throat> in terms of the uh, uh, province in New Brunswick, I don't, in terms of the deadline, I don't know why this uh, deadline was necessary for today, but if I was to make an educated guess, I would guess that it uh, may be related to the fact that a tender was issued by the province of New Brunswick and was awarded. It closed on May the 23rd. It was, uh, uh, was to be awarded, but we asked the province to postpone that decision, which they did. Um, I, I'm guessing that that probably has something to do with this deadline, which is uh, not, uh, not a place where we want to be uh, having to make this decision. <coughs> The idea of having a, uh, uh, a year to assess things before we move ahead, I, I think, is a, is a laudable idea. Uh, but uh, given the time frames that we have now, I'm not sure that we have the ability to, uh, to deal with that suggestion. Um, it might be possible to see whether the province would be prepared to do that before delivering the agreement, assuming that it passes council, but I, realistically I don't see that we have the time to deal with that uh, uh, today, if today is in fact the deadline, which apparently it is. In any event, uh, based on the uh, resolution that this council has passed previously, I don't see, uh, I think that this indemnity agreement was, was in fact the intention of council. The reason we're here today, is, as I understand it, is that the province has said that, that they're not going to provide the funds uh, requested and, and the indemnity agreement has to be uh, signed in short order. 
it's always possible that uh, there could be some further negotiation with the province. We've, we've had uh, good relations with the province in New Brunswick. I think we, we need to have good relations with the other levels of government uh, so that we can partner with them in the future on projects that are important to the City of Montreal. <coughs> And uh, perhaps there'll be an opportunity to have further discussions about that uh, going forward. I certainly do hope so. Unless there are any other questions or comments, I'm going to call for a question. All those ready for the question? Question. Uh, Council Bourgeois, I think, would like to have the motion read back. Is that what you indicated? The motion? Yes, the uh, motion is <coughs> the mayor and city clerk be authorized to sign the uh, release and indemnity agreement as provided to the city of Moncton by the province of New Brunswick. Ready for the question? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Not to remind of any name. Motion's carried. Motion to adjourn. Oh. Second by Council. Second by Council.